Good morning, everybody. Um, sorry, my phone is charging, so I'm holding it kind of funny, so I apologize for that. But good morning, everybody, and my hair is a complete disaster right now, but that's okay. Um, yesterday, I didn't do much. I um, I don't think I went anywhere. Oh, I went to the food pantry yesterday because I have no food in the house, and I didn't want to go use my food stamps until I talked to the doctor on Friday to find out what exactly he wants me to do, if he wants me to go on a full liquid diet or if he has a different treatment plan and options set up for me. Um, all the blood work was posted on the website and I printed all the sheets out um, so I'm going to wait for him to explain that all for me. I looked at the ranges, some are low, some are borderline low, some are in the middle, some are borderline high, so I don't know what that all means. So I'm just going to wait for him to explain it all. Um, I know my vitamin D is definitely low because that's always low. I have osteopenia so um, my vitamin D is always low. I'm supposed to be taking the supplement for it, but I don't know where I got to. I kind of lost it, and I have to buy more. But I just don't have the extra money right now. But all my all my blood work came back. He did. Let me tell you what blood work he did. I'll be informed. He did TSH levels, hemoglobin A1C, uh, sedimentation rate. Um, he did the ANA IFS IFA screen. Um, which pretty much just checks, uh, checks for antibodies for like autoimmune diseases and stuff like that. He did a C-reactive protein, lipid panel, of course the comprehensive metabolic panel that they always do for like everything, um, magnesium, thyroid panel, hold on, my papers are stuck together, vitamin B12, Vitamin D, which I already told you was low. Um, amylase. Uh, lip ass. I don't know. I'm probably saying these all wrong, so I apologize. Trypsin. Hold on. He did more. I'm still coming. Cortisol. And he did the CBC. So that's all the blood work that he did for me and then also I had my endoscopy done which should hopefully have the biopsies back by the time I see him on Friday if not I'm sure maybe he'll call or send a letter sorry I can't hold the camera right sorry my fingers in the in the view sorry there we go okay uh, like I said he did upper endoscopy we did the 24-hour page monitoring when I had the tube in it was connected to the machine for 24 hours he did an esophageal manometer, which was a bigger tube that went down in your stomach and um, shows like your your throat usage, like if because I keep getting food stuck in it, so they wanted to check, you know, make sure my throat and everything was working right and the sphincter and everything like that. I had my six-hour GES study, but it was a two-day study, so six hours the first day, and then it came with a small bowel transit. So second, you had to go with the second day just for one picture to see if the stuff is still in your small bowel and I saw lights still up on the screen so it was probably still in there and so what do we have? We have the GES, the endoscopy, the two esophageal ones. Oh, I had the breath test as well that was for three hours. Pretty sure that's all the tests did. Oh, and the blood work and the EKG he did. I'm still brachycardic most of the time um, but my EKG came back okay which is good. So that's what he did. I just want to let you guys know because I never did tell you what blood work um, he ran. And my face is all gross and blotchy. I've been throwing up most of the night. So like I'm breaking out and I've like popped blood vessels from like throwing up so violently and it's just gross and disgusting. But I have physical therapy in about two hours so I have to go to that. Which means I have to walk down to my car and get my car from my boyfriend's house. It's supposed to be raining today so I get to walk in the rain. Yay for me. But um, I've been trying to drink. Um, my water, because I've been sucking on the whole drinking fluids thing, and my lips are, like, really, really chapped. And I pick at them when they're chapped, and that's not a good thing to do. So I have my water bottle, and I have my Gatorade, Let's see, Gatorade, right here, too. And my water bottle, which I have to refill, my pink water bottle. I have that there as well, so I have to refill my pink water bottle and drink my Gatorade. Um... The food pantry didn't give me many things that I could eat, but I'm still going to keep trying to eat even though I keep throwing up until I see the doctor and he tells me what's going to happen or his plan. 
like I said, I don't know if he wants me to go like full liquid and see how that goes for a while. If he's thinking a tube, I don't know, because my doctors at home were thinking a gastric pacemaker, so I don't know if they're going to do that either. I guess it all, it all depends on what he wants to do. I'm up to try anything, and um, I'm not going to push for anything either. I'm just going to listen to him, let him say his piece, and um, ask about the treatment plan that he has set up for me. Um, my boyfriend was supposed to take me to the appointment, but unfortunately he has to work now, mandatory overtime. So I gotta see if my dad can take me. Hopefully he can, because I cannot drive in the city. My anxiety cannot handle it. But, um, I will keep you guys updated on that. And I just want to let you just say good morning again to everybody. Or good night, or good evening, whenever you're watching this. Same thing. So, um, I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, so I'm just sitting here watching Grey's Anatomy. I'm sorry if you can hear it in the background. Let me turn my TV down. Okay, there we go. That's better. Um, I've been trying to nap all day, but between the rain and my chronic pain, I haven't been able to nap, and I am just so tired because I've been up all night as well. I'm hoping I can get a nap in soon for um, because I know I'll be up all night again because my insomnia has been really bad lately. And my psych took me off my sleeping meds because they weren't working. None of them have worked so far. And she has just given up on me trying to get me to sleep. She says my pain is too bad. And it's just, I just don't sleep well. So she's given up on that. But I've been thinking about maybe going back to school. Um, online, of course. Um, so I looked at some schools online. And I applied the one for an online psychology degree. Because I've always liked psychology. So I'm just emailing back and forth with the admission advisor right now. And we're going to talk on the phone either later today or tomorrow to see if it's a good fit for me. Um, I could go to my community college, but I think online would be better for me because of my anxiety and everything. And you can go to school while you're on disability, um, so that's a good thing. So I'm thinking online would be best for me. Um, so I'm just waiting to hear back from them to see what happens. I filled out the couple of forms that they wanted me to fill out, and it all depends on how much financial aid I get as well. Since, um, sorry, my throat hurts. Since I don't have extra money every month to spend on school, so I'm hoping financial aid will help out a lot. But I just wanted to come on and say that, and I will talk to you guys later then. Bye. So I just wanted to come on and finish up my vlog for the day. There's not much going on. It's pretty rainy and disgusting out, so I'm tired and in pain, like I said before. Tomorrow I have therapy and I meet with my case manager, and then I'm going to go treat myself and get my nails done. Um, I haven't done that in a while, so I'm going to go treat myself, make myself feel a little pretty because I feel gross from throwing up all the time. But anyway, that's all I wanted to say for now, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. So everybody have a good night, and I love you all. Subscribe, and bye.